One minute from now, a automated, an automated session with a scope dome 2 meter, a GM2000, CAN 6D, etc. etc. will start for four targets, and the target, first target will start at 19 hours and 10 minutes. And that's uh, less than a minute from now. What we will see when the target starts it has, is that first, when you look here where the cursor is moving, that the shutter, the dome shutter will open. You can see it here because the degrees opening will start to increase and you can see the shutter opening and it is starting right now. The sequence is starting. And you see the command open shutter one and it's at 20 degrees you can see it increasing this number all the way up to past 90 degrees and it's open next thing will be that the dome will rotate to the right azimuth And it will go to azimuth 106 degrees and you can see it on the dome radar display which will be a little bit past east of course there we are 105 and a bit and the next thing will be that the telescope will start moving which is the 10 micron GM2000 with a Esprit 100 telescope mounted and it will move to its position right now and then the next thing what will happen is that the autofocus will run and it has Autofocus is running. It is downloading images from the camera, which is a Canon 6D modified full spectrum camera. And it has just downloaded image number two. And it will start downloading images and moving the focuser position and what you see here is the star diameter the average star diameter half flux radius that you see displayed here and it is now at a point where it is reaching the optimum focus point what it will continue to do so past that point in order to draw a line there and then we have this line and we have that line and we can calculate the optimum focus position It says we are 100% complete, but we are not quite there yet. That, there we have the line. And it made one exposure extra. And it has established the best focus point. And it will start imaging 
we'll start with image number one of course there is a, a sort of an, an auto guider defined which is not really an auto guider I can show you here it is a direct mount guider because the mount we use is a 10 micron GM2000 and this mount is so accurate that we do not need a guide scope so we can use the direct mount guider feature with an extreme dither pattern we can do all that without a guide camera uh, so we don't need a plate solve either because we are accurate enough so this is the telescope this was the focuser we don't have a filter wheel and we have the Canon 6D defined uh, we are busy with the uh, image number one 240 seconds it, this is going to be a one hour session with four minute exposures at ISO 1600 uh, of the monkey head nebula which is at 42 degrees at the moment and it will move to maybe 50 degrees in an hour and um, meanwhile we can check the safety feature we have which is the cloud watcher uh, the cloud watcher is indicating a clear sky Obviously, there is no rain, it is dry. We don't have a wind sensor. It is dark, which is good. The temperature is, um, the dome has a temperature sensor telling us that it's uh, something. We can check what the sensor is reading. It is, this is the infrared. I forgot where we see the sensor readout. Okay, never mind. Okay, we have the we can define uh, the unsafe conditions. Uh, the unsafe conditions in this case are when it's cloudy or overcast, or well, cloudy in this case, wet and rain. We have to find those as unsafe okay that's that there are 35 seconds until we have the first image we have the stick station indicating 7.7 7 degrees and you can have all you can read the history of the stick station temperature readout uh, meanwhile, we see the scope dome, two meter driver. The dome is rotating, keeping up with the movement of the telescope. Uh, it has it has sensors for temperature. It has relays, which we do not use. It has the option for scripts. It's downloading an image now analyzing star data and we have the first image downloaded and we have the monkey head nebula perfectly centered as expected this is image number one and we have the half flux radius 3.8 which is good 241 stars okay we go on with the scope dome read out weather we don't do anything with the weather sensors because we have a separate cloud watcher a nice feature that I don't use anyway 
is the you can make graphs of different items like the dome azimuth. Well, it was at 360 and now it is here, but when we continue in the session, this graph will show the dome rotation following the telescope. It can be interesting. The shutter state will be obvious. It was um, closed and is open. Okay, I don't use this. But you can. You can even attach an SQM meter here. Okay, we are back at this screen. What we see here is the dome position in degrees. And we are integrating frame number two. In this session, we further have this NGC 2182 43 images, which is a little less than three hours. Then we have a an in-between item, which is a couple of open star clusters. That star cluster thing will run up until half past midnight, and then we will continue to M101 pinwheel. It will slew to see, and we, we don't center because we don't need it with the GM2000. 10 micron and this session will end at uh, 345 because of the moon rising we will stop there we will continue tomorrow so almost image number two entering and well that's about it the image number two will be uh, the same as uh, image number one, so I will stop the recording right here.